Hey guys, welcome back to JLEG 3D. So today we're gonna to be working on an extension to the previous video I did with the PVC adapter. As you can see here, we have the adapter and the cap and the plug, uh, but there was a comment that came up. Let's hide these first uh, before I get into that. So go to the items menu and uh, hide those. But there was a comment that came up and he wanted to make an adapter that goes uh, with three slots and 120 degrees for each slot. So basically a three pronged adapter, right? So. Uh, it's pretty easy actually once we already have this model up so if you didn't make this yet go ahead and just sketch a circle and extrude that out in this case we have a five inch pipe but that doesn't really matter as long as you have this so it's a one inch diameter pipe and keep in mind they are a little bit different but for drawing references one inches but use your calipers to measure your pipe specifically so let's move it over by one inch for starters and uh, i have this sketch here uh, already but if you don't, like I said, just sketch it out. It's just here. It's a uh, one inch and 0.8 inches for your reference if you want to sketch exactly the same thing. But we don't actually need this circle too much. Uh, but at this point, what we can do is either use sketches to make it by going, let's say, to this top plane, which is the right in this case, and sketch it out uh, by making a closed sketch and following through with that. Or I'm going to show you a different method to kind of con to contradict the first time we made this uh, so we can go to tools extrude and uh, extrude that out by one inch that's how much we moved it make it as a new body click done and then just for our reference what we can do is either copy it over or we can use the pattern tool but uh, since there's only three items I don't really see a need for using the pattern tool but sketch and circle we want to make it right in in the middle of our uh, grid so that we can use it to the full extent and then we go ahead and select this and move this to the edge of the circle and it will auto align to the center that makes our job way easier so just click copy turn over by 120 degrees and then since copy is still on we can turn it one more time after letting it go and we're going to do 240 which is twice 120 and then click anywhere to exit and then tools union and select these three pieces click done and then what I want to do as well is actually seal these gaps. And uh, once you seal it to the end as much as you can, you click delete, it'll seal it all the way. So uh, we could have done that from the beginning, but sometimes I forget. So let's just show you how to adjust it. And then double click it and click isolate at the bottom left here. So you can see that last one and then just close it in, click delete. And then to verify, let's go ahead and make it transparent. Although for our project, this was not super necessary, but I just like to make sure that I'm doing everything correctly. So as you can see, we have some parts inside. Let's click that right plane again, click section view, and let's select these faces. And let's try if delete will work. It will in this case, turn off section view, and we still have, no, actually it closed up all the way, so good. Now that we have this piece, this is a reference, turn off isolate here. This is a reference to what we kind of want accomplished internally, right? So once we have this, we can see what we need to do from this point. So let's go ahead and double click this uh, pipe and turn on isolate and click tools offset. And let's go to the thickness we want. Let's make it 0.1 inches here in this case, and then turn off isolate bottom left. And uh, we can kind of see where this is going, right? So Let's go and uh, actually let's, first of all, let's click that circle and turn on isolate again. I love uh, the isolate tool. It makes it so much easier to work. But the reason I'm doing this is, you know, if we had isolate off and we had the pipe here, it would only extrude the outer edge. But see, I, I isolated the sketch. I'm now extruding the whole circle. And let me show you why that's important. So turn off isolate again. And as you can see, if we had just the extrusion, it would go over the top of this thing. And then I would have to do all that work of deleting the internals, just like I did there. But with this one, all we have to do is, well, let's actually hide this real quick, because we were using that just for a visual reference of what we wanted, right? So let's go ahead and put that to the center of the circle so it aligns with the grid again, then copy it over, 120. And then one more time to 240. And then tools union let's put these all together click done and then i want to isolate this again click on for isolate and then go to tools 
shell, you select all the edges you want opened up, and then you simply click 0.1, and without doing a lot of work, we basically have our internal pipe connector. And then obviously, if you want to, you can add on those uh, stoppers here, etc. And I should probably do that so you guys don't blame me for making an incomplete tutorial. But let's go ahead and turn off isolate. And uh, let's do left in this case and section view. And we can see internally, this is what's going on. So basically, the pipe will fit through here. And they'll all be connected at 120 degree angles, right? So let's undo that reference real quick. Uh, what we want to do is create a stopper, right? So in this case, how far do you want your pipe to go? Uh, the easiest way is tools extrude this circle here. And let's say to that very edge there, we don't know exactly where it is. So we will need to use the transit tool. But anyways, let's extrude that out. Click new body, click done. And then what we can do here is transform, translate this edge or this face rather click done and then we go from this edge well it shows the center there but let's go ahead and uh okay so here's the the funny thing i always use circles to align stuff right but here we're trying to get that edge and it's self-aligning with the center let's click cancel and what we want to do is actually make a sketch here for reference so basically since we're on the grid let's zoom in to a point where it's not going to give us a bunch of errors and as you see, you make a random sketch and a little dot appears for our guidance. It's an intersection. So we want to just go ahead and draw a random sketch to that point and then draw two circles from that little intersection point to make it easier for us. And then from this point, we go to exit sketching, transform, translate. We choose that face, click next. And then we simply choose the edge of the circle to the edge of the circle. And I had a great video on this that some people don't like because I had too much comedy in there. Um, probably dry comedy. Uh, but anyways, we click done. And as you can see, that face alone translated from this point to this point made our job very easy. Okay. And at this moment, all we have to do now is double click that little piece that we made, turn on isolate. All right, turn that around. And we want a distance or rather thickness of let's say 0.1, just for the heck of it. Uh, you can do whatever we want. Turn on isolate. And as you can see now, we can move this pipe now over to this point. And obviously we don't know the exact size. So what we can do is go to transform, align. Let's select our pipe, click next. We want to align this face with this face. Click done. And now our pipe is aligned internally and now it has a stopper there. So what we have to do in this specific case, again, let's turn on, let's double click first of all our uh, little three piece and then that little stop gap that we made and turn on isolate again. And like I said, I love the isolate tool. I use it so often, but uh, let's align this in the center again. We have that point there in the center that makes our job easy. We don't need a sketch anymore since there's an actual 3D object with a circle. So these circles act just like the sketches do. They will auto align. So click copy. Let's move it over by 120. And then one more time at 240. Then just click out tools union select these three and then the big body click done and then uh, turn off isolate here on the bottom left again and as you can see we have a great fitment so we have this little gap there inside there that we want to probably fix let's turn off our sketches so obviously one thing i missed is if we did this in the beginning our job would be slightly easier but it's not too difficult because we can simply select uh, not the edges, but these faces. And then go ahead and move in like so. And then instead of having weird artifacts like that, let's try to go a little bit in like that. And then once we're in there, we select those remaining edges and just click delete. All right, so they blended nicely that way. And then let's turn off section view and make sure from the top here on the right plane, turn on section view again. Let's delete that little piece in there as well. Click delete. And now we have a nice internal transition. So as you can see, this pipe connects and it's seamless with the innards there. 
and on, on this side you can see that there is a stopper here that will prevent your pipe from going further in okay so this is how you make a 120 degree adapter for your pipes and obviously you can do this with many more ways i've made a an adapter that made really weird angles for customers uh, that made like an octahedron or whatever they're called uh, so this is a really fun little project and then once you have this to a stage where you're happy with you can obviously go in and let's isolate it again and now you can make it even better by smoothing out these entrances just a little bit. Let's make it a uh, 0.05 in this case. And then uh, also on the outside, it might let us do it a little bit, probably not too much since it's at a blended point. Uh, definitely not a chamfer, but it will let us fill it here to make it a sturdier part. So as you can see now, we have a cool little part. and. Just for the heck of it, that uh, those lines may, reminded me of a specific way of design. So let's go ahead and select those, even though they're hidden. But uh, anybody remember these colors? <laughs> so this looks this looks pretty cool, I think. Let's just update the yellow to make it a little bit better. But yeah, I think this is a cool looking part. And uh, yeah, hope this helps. And like I said in an earlier video, if you have in your heart to support this channel, don't forget to subscribe to membership. Or if you want to give me even more money, uh, go ahead and use PayPal instead because YouTube does take a big chunk of what you give me. So uh, just FYI, the more support, the more videos I can make. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. As I said, if you have any questions, comment down below. Maybe I'll make a video based on your request and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Here at JLake 3 d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.